Please don't talk about love tonight. Please don't talk about silly love. I mean, I don't know. Like that, that seems that seems sort of funny. Um. So hey guys, it's it's me again. Um. So. I mean, a lot's been going on. Um, I, I think I promised to film a video like two weeks ago, and um, uh, well, now I don't have an excuse to keep putting it off. So I'm kind of have to. Uh, um, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, so it's been a while. Uh, a couple things have changed. Setup's still basically the same. Um, still got, still got my boy. So we're we're pretty much good. Um, so yeah, I got a little video set up for you guys today. Um, basically, a while ago I was at Target and um, I I bought this. Um, Uh, I bought. See, I set up this lamp so that the lighting would be consistent, but now it's hard to get you to see. Um, it's just... Okay, that works. Um, so it's it's the sunlight too. Um, but we we got some sy uh, synergy organic kombucha here. Um, You know, lots of very interesting. I don't know why I decided to, to make a video drinking this, but it's been in the fridge for maybe a month. Don't know if it's supposed to be uh, refrigerated for that long. Um, I don't know what's in kombucha. Um, oh, there's a there's an ingredient list. So so let's go. so our um. So, does that look good? There's like a lot of stuff like off screen you can't see. It's insane. I don't know what I've been doing. Um, but it appears our ingredients are include um, uh, yep. Uh, so Okay. So, G. So ingredients. It says GT's kombucha. Parentheses kombucha culture. Black tea, green tea, kiwi juice. End of the parentheses. Next, it says fresh pressed watermelon juice, which makes sense because this is this is watermelon wonder flavored. Uh, Synergy kombucha, so that's that's epic. Um, cherry juice, fresh pressed lime juice, and one hundred percent. Um, one hundred percent pure love. Um, they included one hundred percent. Pure love and uh, this kombucha, so that's good. Um, it says that the ingredients were organically produced and that you should not shake this and you should swirl it gently, which is uh, bad for me because I already shook this. I shook it the moment I took it out of the fridge because I, I was afraid it had set, so hopefully that doesn't kill me. Um, yep. But what I'm also noticing now is this disclaimer. Um, so let's read that. Um, <coughs> Please note, 
Kombucha is a fermented tea that is naturally occur occurring alcohol. Please do not consume if you are avoiding alcohol due to pregnancy, allergies, sensitivities, or religious beliefs. This may count as uh, underage drinking. I'm not sure. I didn't look into it because I didn't know this was a thing before I started recording. So, um, if it is, please do not um, arrest me. Oh, uh, please. So, this better be funny. This could be illegal. Um, let's see if there's anything else on the bottle so I can avoid drinking this for as long as possible. Um, yep. This is 16 fluid ounces of Synergy Watermelon One Day Organic Kombucha. So that... Um, Vis visible culture strands. Um, I don't, know, I don't know, guys. I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit more worried than I was um, a few minutes ago. Um, yeah. Uh, Words of enlightenment, uh, you're meant to shine in the light and the darkness, like the sun and the moon. You are here to bless the world with your um, brilliance. I can read. Um, we're going to drink this. Um, when does this expire? What day is it? Um, well, I mean, that that's not good. Um, so I took a look at the cap. Um, so if you guys can see that, which I doubt you can, it says to enjoy, which I'm sure will be enjoying this by uh, March 23rd, 2020. So that's just its sell-by date. Um, the issue is it's the 25th of March, so this is two days, this is two days out of date. Um, I shook it and I'm pretty sure I'm this counts as underage drinking. So this is going to be a great video. Okay guys, so I'm going to have to crack this open eventually. Um, you know, I mean, I'm sick right now, so maybe this will... I don't think I have corona, but maybe this will cure me. Um, Closing that, we're closing that. Um, oh god. Like the moment I opened it, I just got a whiff and I just I don't want I just don't want it in my life. I do not need that in my life. That is not no. No uh oh, that is no no. I mean we have to we're already here. I bought this for a reason. I gotta swallow my gum. Okay, we've successfully swallowed our gum, and we have a mostly empty bottle of water. 
It's on standby in case we need it. I also have a hammer, so that that's useful. Um, okay, so I mean, I got I have a I have a job to do. Okay, well. Um, I don't know how to describe the smell. Um, you ever like... Oh God. Um, so, so like, you know when you're like, you're out visiting like older relatives and you go to the one house like of who you don't really know. And you know, you're like, you know, oh, I'm sort of hungry. I could go for something and then, you know, you know, they say, oh, hey, go just go get something out of the fridge. And you open the fridge and, like, there's, like, you can smell, like, some sort of fruit in there. But there's also this, like, stench, right? There's this rank, just something is wrong with that fridge. And you just, you decide to just walk away. You weren't hungry at all. You just, you were just bored. And, um, that's what the smell, what is kombucha? What even is goddamn kombucha? What? Okay, let's. Close this up again. I'm going to try and read, see if they have a description. Uh, kombucha is a fermented tea crafted with a living culture known as Scooby. It, like, like it's, it's spelled like Scooby, but with only one O. So I assume it's supposed to be like Scabby. But I feel like that's a bad way to brand it, because that just makes people think of Scooby-Doo. Um, I mean, after this, I might, I mean, this is a mystery machine, goo monster, uh, added to a base of sweetened tea. The, the Scooby consumes sugars and caffeine, transforming the tea into this revitalizing wellness drink known in ancient cultures, no, Asian cultures, as the tea of immortality. Okay, so this should help me to live forever, which is my goal. That's why I make these videos, to live forever. Um, hasn't worked out, but maybe this time. Um, real authentic kombucha, like GT's, which is the founder we can get into that. Well, let's do that instead of uh, drinking this. Um, is raw and living offers a, t a tangy taste, natural effervescence. Eff eff and visible culture strands. What? Um, oh, damn, I can get a Canada cash refund. Yep, um, so. The founder is a man named G.T. Dave, which um, he has a little quote here. Always cultured, never compromised. The bottle in your hand bears my name as a symbol of promise. You have my word. G.T.'s kombucha is the most authentic kombucha you can buy. With respect for centuries of Eastern tradition and using heirloom living cultures passed down by my family, 
This sacred offering is lovingly handcrafted with goodness that you can see, taste, and feel. Just as nature intended. This is going to kill me. Um, oh my god. I shouldn't be touching my face so much. This is a global pandemic, Robert. What are you doing? <coughs> well, I'm sitting here drinking a butcher. That's what I'm doing. And I'm putting it up where... Okay. This is some GT's Synergy Organic Kombucha Watermelon Wonder! I'm afraid it's gonna explode, and then like it's gonna live on my carpet. Like... You know, the fact that it's apparently living isn't a selling point, I would like to point out. They describe it as living at least twice. And that is, that's not a selling point. I must, like, I don't, I don't go out of my, personally, I don't know about you guys. But, um, personally, I don't go out of my way to eat living things. Uh, that just seems like a terrible thing to do to just anyone. I don't want to be eaten. I, that's, there are, like, three things that I don't want to be eaten. I don't want to melt, and I don't, um, I, I, I don't want to go outside. That's that's my holy trinity of things I don't want to do. And I I wouldn't want to do that to something else, but I'm already filming this, so I kind of have to. Um, we got the water. Um, excuse me. Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay, you guys gotta gotta like this video. You gotta subscribe. Okay, you got you gotta subscribe. You gotta send this to your friends and make them hit them with hit them with your card. Okay, <laughs> unless they subscribe. Uh, what am I talking about? Uh, okay. One, two, three, Henry. I, I'll, I'll see you on the other side, buddy. Hey guys, so we're going to take a quick break and enjoy a bit of this um, uh, Village Bakery Rustic Sourdough from the Farmer's Market. And 
discuss what we have experienced. Mostly because I'm aware that I'm now going to have to take a second sip because I cannot remember what it tastes like. Because my mind decided to immediately forget. Also, I just really like dread. Yeah, is that a crime? Um, yeah. So, I'll put the lid back on. From what I remember, um, you ever had that, that tea, uh, brisk? You know, you know, that burned, um. Now I'll compare it to that because it's supposed to be some sort of tea. Um. Uh, yeah, so like brisk is sometimes it's like carbonated and that's sort of weird for tea. You know, but it's still okay. This is this also feels carbonated, and I don't like it's too car. It's it's bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. Is this bread gonna like feed whatever living creatures I just drank? <coughs> <coughs> the hole, man. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this bread and we'll, we'll be right So we had the, so we're back. To finish this review, which means I have to drink some more of this. So I can give you an accurate opinion. Um, first I can say it is immediately repulsive. Just repulsive. Just. So I think I, I see why they tell you not to shake it, because I think that's where the carbonation comes from. Like it, it looks like maybe I backwashed into this. Or, like, oh my god, this is gross. Um, okay. Okay. My soul feels empty. I don't know what that taste is. I, I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's watermelon. I've tasted watermelon. This is not that. Um. You know, when, like, you get a soda, it's, like, super carbonated. It's kind of like that. Um, it's how it feels when it goes into your mouth. It just kind of hurts. Um, I gotta keep going.
I don't know what this is. But it hurts. It hurts. I gotta put this hammer away. You feel it on my teeth? It's just in my mouth now. I can just, it's part of me. And it's alive. Like me. So, like, I don't, I don't drink, you know, like, because I'm, you know, I don't drink underage because I'm a lame and my mom doesn't drink and she melted us with alcohol and like this. And, you know, so I can't, I can't just swipe a beer. Uh, but, you know, maybe if I did, I'd, I'd be able to recognize some sort of quality in this. I know what I was drinking. I cannot. This is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. And I don't, I don't think anything can top that. It's, I, like, I don't like it, but I feel like I have to keep drinking it to understand what it is I've consumed, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Well, it doesn't taste like tea, I can tell you that. That's, that's something. Um, uh, it does not taste like it's living food for a living body. It feels like it is, uh, it feels like it is for nothing. One, this isn't food, this is a drink. This is a drink, okay, GT? It's not living food, this is a drink. This is a, this is a, you sip that you do not consume. You sip, okay? This is a drink. It is not food. You complete another hack, okay? I want you to know that. And you've put me in pain. I, I have, I have potentially broken the law for this. Like, I, I can't know. I don't. Like it tastes familiar, but it's not, it's not watermelon. I can tell you that. It... Can you shut up? I'm in here. I'm trying to film a video of myself drinking kombucha. This is important stuff going on right now. Okay, so I guess maybe you could say it tastes... Okay, maybe... Okay, so... Remembering the ingredients we discussed. Um, it's a bit sour. I... Like, it tastes like there's, like, a... Like, some sort of fruit in there. Like a, you know, something. But it's sour. And, I th and that's off-putting. And I think that's because of the lime juice. Because it says it includes fresh pressed lime juice, aside from, you know, the uh, fresh pressed watermelon juice, cherry juice, and 100% pure love. Um, so I think, I think that was a bad move, personally. Um, it's not enjoyable to drink. Um, it is pain. I'm in pain, and life is pain, and that's, that's really, that is the tea, sis, and, you know, I am, and the, what I want to say, um, is that the 100% pure love didn't do anything for this. 
they'll make it better. They make it good. Um, unless your love just really, I can only imagine. If it did, I can only imagine what this would have tasted like before the love. How much utter just garbage it was, and I, I think that's all I have to say. Oh yeah, don't shake it, oh no, it just generally swirls.